In the centre of the French countryside was a beautiful chateau, left abandoned and forgotten for over 40 years. Then, one year ago, a family from the UK fell in love with its beauty and embarked on an adventure. Where that big tree is there, uh, you can see the can you see the pillar. To bring back to life this forgotten chateau. Join myself Terry, my partner Ash, my mum Tracy, Dad Tony, and nephew Jonathan in our family adventure at Chateau de la Lasalle. So it's an exciting day at the Chateau today, a job that we've been wanting done for so long um, and I'm so excited about from day one even when we bought the Chateau was to get these doors reinstated. Um, now finally the, the back, they've been all remade and we've had um, a fantastic joiner um, to come out and fit them all. So it's, it's been just brilliant, it's been such a, a long wait to, to get them in um, and luckily We'd um, found someone locally um, to come fit them professionally for us and get them all in. So thank you so much for that. Um, but they're all in, all sorted now. And the next job now is to start getting the glass in. So I've been trying to get glass sorted, which is just a nightmare in France anyway, just to get basic glass. So to get some cut to this shape, it's just been a bit of a, a headache. Um, luckily I've found somewhere that I can get sorted so the next step is to do a template I'm going to do a cardboard template first and um, just to get a rough idea of the sizes um, and then once I've done the cardboard one I'll transfer it to a wood template and make sure that it fits perfectly once I've done that then we can take it to the shop get a copy I think they said it takes a couple of weeks to get sorted um, and then we can get them in and finally this part of the shot will be watertight, which is just, it's, it's amazing. So, like I said, it's good, it's good. Um, so like I said, the next thing I'll do now is I'm gonna take the beading off and get a rough template out of cardboard and then go from there.
now I've got the template sorted, obviously the doors weren't symmetrical, so I've had to do two different templates, but it's like everything in the shower. <laughs> so I've got them sorted roughly in cardboard now. I'm gonna get them cut out properly in the wood. Um, I've got some thin plywood here and I've got some hardboard, which are both around about the same sort of size that I need. Um, so they'll be good. I'll get them cut out, make sure they're fit. And then once they're all fitted in properly, I can get them to the shop and get the glass ordered. So yeah, it's all good. So, just carrying on with the doors. Um, got the other side of the doors all painted now. So the external parts all fully coated. We've got quite a lot of coats on that. Um, and it's looking, it's looking good. So the next thing now is I can take my masking tape off and get the inside all stained. Um, so we can get a bit of varnish and that on here. Just so it protects the inside. Get the same done with the frame. And then we can get them back on and look at getting some of the glass in which will be fantastic. So, um, the first thing I need to do is just to take off the lock and the handle off, just so I can get behind those where I'm putting the stain on. And then um, we can get the, the colour on. We're going for like a, hopefully it'll match the same colour as the panelling, with the panelling being quite dark anyway. Um, so, We'll put one coat on first. I did do a sample uh, of one with the pad that was cut off the bottom of the doors. So that was just one coat, which is quite nice. So I think two coats of that um, is going to probably match in with the panelling and the top pad that we've got. 
So, I said we'll get the handles off first and then go from there. So I've got the doors all sanded and sorted, all the tapes off now um, and the other side's all painted which is fantastic. So I've done as much as I can with the sanding, um, as I could be for the next 10 years getting them sorted and perfect but it's just going to be just so much work and I think they're only going to last for the next 5 to 10 years anyway just due to the, the wood and that that's been used so time to just call it a day and get some stain on them. So I've just tried a little bit there, obviously it looks lovely with the colour of the wood in here. Um, but for the first coat, all I'm going to do is I'm going to water the stain down just so it can soak into the wood as much as possible and give as much protection. So I've just got my little tester pot of the stain first, so I'll use that one. Um, so I'm just going to pour that in and mix it with some white spirits just to, to water it down. Get this one on now. So I've got my glass cut, obviously I'm just so happy and so excited. I know it's only a simple thing cutting a piece of glass but I've just been so worried about cutting the curve on the top pieces of the glass up here, it's just been bugging me for so long and to just get it done straight away it was just absolutely fantastic. So I've got one piece of the original glass which I'm going to put up first um, and then I'll get the piece that I've just cut up as well. Um, I'll just do the same process I did when I was doing the windows, so I'll put the putty on first Put the little tacks in to hold the glass and then put the putty on again on the uh, inside just to hold it in and stuff. 
so yeah, but honestly, I'm just so excited. Just, I know it's a simple thing, but it's something that I've never ever done and I've always just been so, like, obviously scared about, to be honest, obviously just breaking the glass and stuff like that. So, just shows, obviously, just to try and just see how we get on with stuff. Um, a lot of the stuff that we're doing, we've, we've never done before and we just sort of give it a go. So yeah, but it's all good. I'll get this up now.
Terry has surpassed himself again. Yep. He's fitted the glass for these doors, and again, just seeing the work that you've done is out of this world. Is, Actually, is. you've cut your own glass on one. I know. I was so surprised with that. He came, honestly, he and came he flying. Came. Me and Tanya were stood there. He came, look, I cut it. He was literally bouncing about. Yeah. But you've done such an amazing job with it, Angel. It is. It's like it's just amazing. It's been so long. It's been. Well, we took these out in October. Yeah. So that's we've been without doors now. That's coming on what seven, six, seven months. Seven months. Yeah. We've, so this has just been a hole in the wall. Yeah. And it's been devastating, really. Just to, we can't use it. Well, just even the light, because obviously this gets all the light this yeah. side. So every time he came into the shop, it was just dark. It was just it? so dark, yeah. Mm -hmm. So to, to have the doors of you again now, it's just amazing. The amount of light that they're yeah. letting in. And obviously, I've been stood down at the septic today, yeah. and looking up and just seeing doors with glass. Yeah. It was just, it was phenomenal. So it's good. Obviously, the glass that we've got as well is five mil reinforced glass. Yep, so safety glass. Yep. So that. We know that there's a chance people could fall into it, fall through it. Can't with this, we bought the, the best stuff. We went to a proper glass, um, place. glass and mirror place in Allenson, and I have to say a huge thank you to them. They were just, uh, she was so lovely, she was so yeah. brilliant with it. She and she's that. called us, she said it was three weeks, it was only a week and a half really, wasn't it? Yeah. Is that the two, first time two, two something weeks. in France has been early? Early? Yeah. Um, so yes, yeah, so to, to be at this point now, to have lockable everything, it's amazing. Yeah, all the locks are working, everything. So I just need the finishing touches. I need to try and find some nice door handles. And you need to clean the windows. Yeah, I need to clean all my finger marks where I've been putting in there. <laughs> and then get the other bits sorted. So that'll be my next job now to get the paneling on the inside on, sorted, um, get the floor sorted, and give them a final coat of paint. So I can paint the potty once that's dried. Mm -hmm. um, I'll wait until my auntie comes over. <laughs> <laughs> and then that's it. All done and dusted. Door's finally done. You've done amazing. You've yeah. done absolutely. You have surpassed yourself this time. Because really. yeah. again, even though we had the glass cut, it wasn't quite right. Because because of the intricacies of the doors as well though. Yeah. And the fact that it has to fit in. And they made one of them. It was probably about six or seven mil wider than what it should have been. Luckily, I'd give a few mil either side so it just fit in. in yeah 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 oh, so done well. there's a bit of space there for obviously the expansion of the wood and um, so it, it should be fine so yeah it's all good so we're going to get some tea now I'm yeah starving. I'm absolutely knackered <laughs> working with glass that big it's it is tiring yeah so yeah so we're going to get sorted yeah come on then come on then we'll be able to close the doors for the first time yeah Um, but the next thing, obviously, when we bought the shuttle, this space here just had a bit of hardboard in and it had completely rotted with the doors being open. Um, so, obviously, we were left with what to do with it. We didn't know if to fill it in with um, some more parquet flooring or if to do something different with it. Um, and I was thinking about like, getting some tiles, I thought tiling it would be quite nice. And when we were rummaging through the garage, given that a tidy out, we found quite a lot of old tiles. So obviously there's quite a few there. There's not enough to do like a full room or now, but there's enough to do like a nice small space. So I thought why not try them down here and see what they look like down here. Um, and hopefully they'll fit and it'll look all all right. I'll just put this board down now just to give us an idea what they'll look like. What I'll have to do is if they all fit in, cut a little bit of the floor off, um, just so it's in line with this idea and then put a straight piece right the way along so it's the end of the park here onto the tiles so I'll get them down now so we've got the edge in one and then we've got like a sort of star motif for the centre part so. all of them in so obviously they fit perfectly as well um, and I, I think it'll look fantastic 
with these doors when you, you're coming in or obviously going into the garden it's just going to be lovely to see and it's nice that they've, they've obviously been used or came from somewhere here in the chateau so to get them back down and reuse them it's going to be fantastic and it's nice because they look old as well so it doesn't look like we've just put brand new tiles down which i'm wanting i'm wanting it to to look like it's always been here so he'll be good yep so the next thing i'll do now is i'll have to take up a bit of this pack here to see how far the boards are rotten underneath and um, see if i need to replace any of those put this back down cut it to size and i can get some sand and cement underneath to get this to level and then go from there yeah just a little easy job again <laughs>
What a great week. Absolutely one of the massive jobs that we've wanted to do and finally ticked off. I know. It is. It's been a, a long time getting to this point, isn't it? Been a bit of an epic. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's a massive relief for you, isn't it? It More is. More than anybody. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. been stressing the strain. Yeah, a, a massive headache and everything for... Heartache as well as headache? Yeah, yeah, yeah. For what we thought was only going to be, what, two weeks? Mm -hmm. It was meant to be a two, three week job. It's took, what, nearly seven months. Yeah, yeah. yeah but... So. That's just all life. <laughs> yeah. At the yeah. end of the day, you just have to look behind us and it was all worth it in the end. Yeah, they do. They look absolutely amazing. It's now tremendous. they're all done. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's down to your hard work though, Terry, and, and just the skills that you've got. It's all, there's no other way of saying it. It's just down to... Determination. Yeah. yeah. You, you yeah. determined that whatever happened, they were going back in. Yeah. So yeah. <laughs> they've gone back in. <laughs> And we, we managed to source glass, so yeah. that was... Managed that to cook was glass. glass. You Terry managed to cook glass. glass. He came running with a piece of glass. He, he <laughs> came running with a piece he cut off, so I couldn't understand quite what was going on. i just seen Terry come running at me with a piece. <laughs> I didn't run, run with a piece because I know I'd fall run. over. <laughs> <laughs> he just came with a piece he cut off. I was like, what's that? Mm. I cut the glass. I was like, yeah. what for? <laughs> it, that, that is massive. These things seem little, but they're not the massive yeah. Yeah. things that we've yeah. done. And again, the intricacies of that one, mm -hmm. the, the ones in the doors themselves, trying to get that sorted was just... Yeah. We had to get it sorted at to be toughened, it had to be the right stuff and something that was going to last. Well even the, the glass place that were cutting it, which were a professional company, went through, was it five, five pieces? Yeah. Five, pa five pieces to get the cut right. Yeah, so it's, it's not like it was an easy job. No, no, it's not something we'd have been able to do. Yeah, definitely. they weren't too keen on you taking any more back, were they? <laughs> <laughs> they didn't say we'll see you again. No, she did, she was dead nice. She was lovely, the lady in there. She was, but I've been looking around. Mostly the ones I can manage myself apart from, I think there's about three in the turret which I've got the same profile. Oh dear. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. Well, you know they're going to charge us yeah. double when we go back, don't so. you? Yeah, I think we might need to take a box of chocolates with us. Yeah. yeah. Um, but no, it's been, I think it's been a special week as well, really, for getting that done. It, it is a sort of milestone. Well, it's just sort of like, I, all I wanted, all I was planning on doing was getting the doors in. Mm. That was all I planned on doing. And then it sort of led on to, well, I'll get the panelling up either side yep. so it looks a bit more finished. And then I was like, well... I might as well finish the floor. Yeah, it's like, well, the floor looks a mess and it's rotten to bits. So I may as well look at that. Mm -hmm. So then we had to pull all of that up, Pulled didn't we? The then you found the out. tiles in the, well, uh, I mean, in the garage, didn't you? Yeah. Look, luckily, underneath what we thought was a rotten bit, it was just an info panel and it was sound. So there was a good base under there, which, yeah, which yeah, was yeah. the first of the pluses as things started to come together. Definitely, yeah. Obviously, we rebuilt the, the frame underneath, didn't we, Ash? Yep. To build that up. Um, yes. Sit the parquet on and sit the yep. vent on. Yep. But then obviously the parquet was rotten. This is so I had to put um, the wood hardener on and piece it back together the best I could. And then the tiles. Obviously yes. that were just. Well, that was a stroke of luck. That was just a stroke of luck, wasn't it? We we went over and had a look and found that we had. There was something exactly garage, wasn't what we it? needed. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I was yeah, looking all over and it was going to be another trip to Belgium. Belgium. <laughs> yeah. well, it's not no, actually in Belgium, is it? No, I mean, it's about it five miles away. It's technically in France. It's te but, uh, technically, but that technicality, it is, it's only five uh, miles from Belgium. It depends on the thickness <laughs> of the line on the map. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so that saved Ash another trip. Yeah, I mean, it, they were just a great find in the garage. They are. And the there Yeah, there wasn't enough to do a big area. The, the well, I, I think there. the size you've done is, is ample. You, yeah. you wouldn't want it well, It any sets bigger. the doors off nice as well, doesn't it? It beautiful. leads you to them or it'll lead you into them Absolutely when you walk beautiful. in as well. It just gives you that. Yeah, it's elegant. It, it's yeah. nice and elegant. Mm. I think it's just a point now where you know where you're going. Where you've started that first step. Yeah. Um, to see to, what to things are going to yeah, look like. What finished. it's going to look yeah. like when it's yeah. all done. Yeah, yeah. You know. And the good news is that now that you've got that done, you can crack on upstairs. I know. Carry on upstairs now. So now that's in and that's made that water tight. There's a couple of little finishing off bits that I need to do with them. So I need to get some skirting for the bottom part of the panelling. And I need to put the finishing trims on, which mm -hmm. I've been staining. But well, obviously, because I've had to do about three or four coats of stain. They're yeah. taking quite yeah, a while. Well, you've got to put thin coats on so that other, otherwise you get runs. Well, wasn't and, that? And I started doing it. He said, Oh, can you do it for me? Yes, this. I started doing it. 
and I put a coat and I was like, Terry, that hasn't changed colour. No. And he stood over it going, it has. I was like, it hasn't. No. You need a few. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. You Tremendous week. Absolutely superb. And there's loads of other stuff been going on, which mm. we'll be able to show you. And if you follow yes. us on Facebook yeah. and stuff, you'll see some of the snippets of what we've been Sandy, doing. Just about ready to paint now, are you upstairs? Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But paint. with this being just such a, a big job, and obviously all of you have been wanting to know what's been going what's on with them. What's been going on. Yeah. Yeah. We just wanted yeah. to, to show everything that's been going on with them. <laughs> Cockle's happy with them as well. Yeah. Yep. He's yeah, yeah. A sign of approval. Well, he's not going to be happy because they won't be able walking now anymore. No. no, no. <laughs> but yeah. We'll just think from like the very first day when we came. That and we was, came in here. Yeah. Well, that was a win because yeah. It was, the just, other doors it was were just bad. an open door, and it wasn't the fact that it was even open. It was actually hanging off. Yeah. So. Yeah. Well, there was no bottom. Shoot. Was there? there was nothing. no bottom. On there was nothing. Then. then the floor had collapsed underneath it, and again, we didn't know what was under there, so we didn't dare stand on any of it either. Mm. So whenever we've walked in and out initially. We've been jumping over the rotten mm. bits until yeah. we've actually took all that out and seen it's actually concrete underneath anyway, yeah. so luckily. Brilliant. Yeah. Fantastic job. So yeah, so that's all yeah. good. And then we just want to say a massive thank you to yeah, a just couple of people. Yeah, I'll let you crack. So we have um, John Chang sent us some hand, hand creams. Cream. Thank oh. you so much. The O'Keefe hand cream. I did, honestly. My hands have been in bits. Mm. Well, the second you opened, you were like, oh my God. Yeah. You can't get it here. You just no. can't get it. There's that and not. The two best ones are the O'Keefe one that he sent and the Norwegian, Norwegian formula. Norwegian, yeah. Them two. Yeah. And he sent that off. Oh, yeah. yeah. Amazing. Yeah. We've all been, we've all had some on already. Mm. Susie May for the quilt. Absolutely love They were living. absolutely stunning. God, I can't from. believe how the work, hand The work in them is unbelievable. Yeah. The yeah. patience you must have. <laughs> yeah. beautiful. And Susie May, she has a, uh, I'm guessing she has a website, with a yeah. little business card there oh, as yeah, well. We'll put a link on that one. So we'll mm. get a link onto that or the email address on her to email her at least. Yeah. And we had, are you? Uh, Sharon, Sharon Neely, we got yours today. <laughs> yeah. Look, the fire pit is looking forward to that. We got some forks and some marshmallows and some chocolate. Yeah. Um, yeah. So yeah. they'll be getting tested out very, very soon. Yeah. So thank you, Sharon. And then we had some guests turn up this week as well, didn't we? Mm. Paul, Pauline and Mike was it? Yeah, yeah, yeah that came. <laughs> Absolutely <laughs> lovely. <laughs> yeah. They were passing by from Switzerland. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Just yeah. passing on the way, passing from Switzerland. A bit of a long story, but they were actually getting a ferry from the uh, from the north coast. So yeah. it's not quite as bizarre as it sounds. But yeah. it was yeah. so lovely to see them. She brought you them amazing lights. She brought yeah. some beautiful, beautiful wall lights. Um, They'll be appearing was, very soon. Yeah. And then there was... Um, Otokodo came with the other wall lights and the plants. Bank holiday. So oh, Wendy. Wendy. Wendy, yeah. They were lovely as well, yeah, weren't they? And yeah, some plants. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and the plants. Yeah, yeah. And we've got some of the plants in already. We've yes. been putting them I've in. We've put them in the rockery, yeah. yeah. So yeah, as soon as you've been, we'd uh, start getting them all planted. Yeah, there's only the uh, trees, we're just finishing on the, uh, trying to pick the final position for those, aren't they? Yeah. yeah. And then they're, uh, they're being well watered and they're, yeah, they're ready to go nice in. Nice big pots then, Ross. Yeah. Get away um, with that. They're budding away nicely. I think yeah. there was just Jane. From Bolton. From Bolton. Oh, um, yeah. She sent us some little gifts. Thank you, Jane. And talk your daughter into bringing you over. You're more than, more than welcome. Any time. Yep. It's a little road trip. You're more than welcome. Yeah. <laughs> Brilliant. And that's, and about, that's it about it for this it, week. It? Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. it's been Most a busy up. week. Lots of, lots of other things going on that uh, we'll catch up with later on. Really? Yeah. Um, but as always, we hope you've enjoyed uh, watching Terry struggle and toil and, uh, <laughs> and seeing the <laughs> wonderful tormented. results that have come. Uh, it really has transformed the back of this place now. Yeah. yeah. And uh, so hopefully you've, you've liked our little uh, effort. And if you have, please like, press the like button and share with your friends. Subscribe if you haven't. And um, as usual, Terry will be well weaving his magic with a banner of all our links somewhere around his knees, I guess. Um, our Facebook, YouTube, YouTube and Instagram. Instagram. Even um, I remembered them. I know. I, I just try to get the order wrong every time. <laughs> and we will see you on Wednesday. Yes. We will. See what's going on in the cottage again. Uh, busy, busy. Yeah. yeah. Okay. See you see soon. You later. Bye. Bye. If you'd like to join us on our family journey, bring them back this once forgotten chateau then please join us on Patreon for behind the scenes footage, updates, live chats and your very own piece of the Chateau.